Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Here in the United States, inflation is at a 30-year high, and energy prices are at the highest they've been in seven years. At the same time, Europe and countries like China are experiencing blackouts in energy rationing. They simply don't have enough capacity to meet the needs, the demands. According to the IEA, the International Energy Agency, global energy demand is expected still to increase 5% this year, 4% next year, and there on after. Unfortunately, in its rush to meet our dependence, uh, to, to lessen our dependence on, on reliable fossil fuels and nuclear, in the near term, renewables simply can't keep up with the demand. So let's take a step back. Rather than this rush to 100% renewable energy by 2030 or 2035, wouldn't it make more sense for the United States to invest in carbon capture and use fossil fuels as a bridge over the next several decades until we can build out our renewables? According to Nettle, the U.S. is on the brink of capturing carbon in a cost-effective manner. And in so doing, fossil fuels will have zero emissions. Just, just like wind, solar, nuclear. And the U.S., in the meantime, can be developing a long-term strategy for developing our critical minerals and acquiring them, working, developing a long-term solution on our supply chain. So but put this in perspective. The World Bank, uh, World, Bank, World Bank Group and the Center for Strategic and International Studies estimate the demand for mineral production, critical minerals, could increase by 500 to 1,000 percent by the year 2050. Where are we going to get these materials? Even the administration's own environmental justice report has said that published earlier this year said no additional mining. But the United States is entirely too dependent on China and other nations for the minerals needed for renewables. For example, according to the NMA, the National Mining Association, the United States still imports 76% of its cobalt and 100% of its graphite from countries like China and the Congo, places with heat. systemic and significant human rights issues. But this, this administration seems more interested in pursuing an anti-fossil fuel agenda by restricting mining in places like Arizona and Minnesota. Remember, just last year in this very room, former Energy Secretary Muniz said, told us the United States should be mining more, not less. So, Mr. Chairman, think about what, what you're doing here. We're restricting mining in America to acquire these critical minerals that we need for renewables, but you don't like getting them from China or Congo, yet demand is clearly outpacing capacity. I have to say, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I look forward to today's discussion, and I hope that we can come with a sensible, common sense approach in this, an adult conversation as we go through this. We, we need to find some solutions with this, and I don't think this rush is going to be, a, is going to be productive. So I, I yield back the balance of my time.